Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm Mr. Stano, your Earth Science teacher, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the celestial sphere. The celestial sphere is the backdrop that everything appears in either the nighttime or the daytime sky. If you take a look, we have this little gentleman right here looking through a telescope, and all the stars appear to be on this right here, this dome that surrounds us. There's a couple of components. You can see that he stands in the middle. The observer always stands in the middle of their celestial sphere. And we have our directions down the bottom. We can see north, south, moving this way, east, and west right here. All the stars, everything up here, it appears two-dimensionally to be surrounding us. So when you look up in the sky, it doesn't matter if it's a plane, if it's stars, the sun, uh, anything, any other satellites that we see, that's all appearing on the celestial sphere. The celestial sphere has a few parts that we need to uh, take a look at. We have the alt, the um, azimuth direction right around here along the bottom, right here where the dome meets. This is our horizon this portion that goes all the way around. So if you would look, go to the beach and look straight out into the water and where the sky meets the land, that's your horizon. The zenith is the point directly above you. So if you look up, that's your zenith. Depending on where you are, you're, really your zenith is always going to be directly above you. And we also have our altitude right here and azimuth, which we're going to go over next. Our altitude is our height above the horizon measured in degrees. So it's our height above the horizon in degrees. So what does that mean? So our zenith, if we make an angle with the ground, with the, looking at the horizon, and then straight up, we would have a 90 degree angle. Our zenith is always 90 degrees. The horizon is always zero degrees. Anything in between that is a judgment call. You have to figure out, well, is it halfway looking up? So in this scenario, we're looking at this little star right here, this little yellow spot. And let's clear this to make it look better. If we look at the horizon right here as zero, straight above is 90, then this is somewhere in between that angle. And we're looking at about 60 degrees right here. So your altitude is your height above the horizon in degrees. Then we have our azimuth direction. Our azimuth direction is our distance around the horizon from the North Pole, also measured in degrees. So as we see this on the bottom, measured in degrees. North is zero degrees or 360 degrees. Move around. So we, have, we draw there. We draw this. So zero degrees, 360 degrees. We'll draw our coordinates in. Something like this. So from north, south, that's 180 degrees. They're completely reverse of each other. We go from here to here. That's a 90 degree angle. That's also east. And then we have 90 degrees from here to here makes 180. Add another 90 from here to here. It's 270 degrees, which is west. So if anyone's gone boating before and you look at the compass that's usually mounted on a boat or you even use the GPS in the boat, they're going to give you your direction, your azimuth direction in degrees. And that's pretty much it. That's the end of the Celestial Fear. A very short little primer into it, but we're going to need this later on when we go into the seasons. That's about it. Hope to see you again. Take care. Goodbye.